If the Earth shrinks and loses its mass, then the forces of gravity will become weaker every day. People will manage to jump high and float in the air. There won't be enough air, since the entire atmosphere will simply fly into space. All things will become light, water will slowly turn into gas, and the International Space Station and the Moon will fly out of Earth's orbit and go space surfing. But if the Earth began to shrink by one inch per second and didn't lose mass, then our entire solar system would disappear in 15 to 17 years. The number of disasters would increase exponentially, and all of it would start with a small push. You're in a supermarket shopping for food when you suddenly feel an earthquake. It's not strong, but it makes a pack of chips fall off the shelf. From this moment, Earth begins to shrink inward. Imagine a slowly deflating balloon. Its size is shrinking by the second, but its weight remains the same, which means that its density increases. The same thing is happening with our planet. Everything from the core to the Earth's crust is slowly compressing inward. Oceans, vegetation, houses, everything remains the same. On the first day, people don't notice the difference. During the day, our planet shrinks by 1.3 miles. This is a hundredth of a percent of the entire Earth. After a month, you may feel slightly unwell. Headache, weakness, increased laziness. Your body feels changes in pressure. Earth shrinks by 40 miles in a month. The weight of the planet remains unchanged, but the density increases. When you're on a decreasing object with increasing density, you feel the strengthening and weakening of gravity at the same time. It's difficult for you to move your feet, but your upper body feels light. You live near the shore, so you notice that the water level has risen. You take a handful of sand. It seems heavier than usual, but at the level of your head, the sand loses a little weight. This happens because there's an enhanced gravity working below. The higher you go, the weaker the gravity becomes. But with every second, the level of enhanced gravity rises. You can get to the top floor of a skyscraper and feel incredible lightness. But the lower you go, the stronger the pressure becomes. Hurry up! The skyscraper will soon fall! Gravity and changing Earth's shape destroy cities all over the world. The building's foundations break because of the constant shrinking of the Earth's crust. Houses become heavier and create much more noise when they fall. The dust rises high in the air and flies away to the sky. A part of the dust settles on the ground faster because of gravity. Months pass by. In the forests, trees fall as the ground compresses and breaks their trunks. The production of crops is interrupted. Corn, wheat, sunflowers, everything stops growing in such conditions. After a walk in the park, your legs feel so tired as if you ran a marathon. When you're lying in bed, it's difficult for you to get up. It seems as if a huge magnet was pulling you down. Also, you feel a load on your eyelids. Your body constantly feels the same tension that you do in the middle of your workout at the gym. You'd sleep easily on the upper floors, but they no longer exist since all the buildings were ruined. The atmospheric pressure increases, and this causes headaches. Power plants and factories no longer work. Dams break, and water floods many cities. The internet has disappeared. No more planes are flying in the sky. All navigation tools stop working correctly because the entire landscape of the planet is changing. There are no more working electronic gadgets in the world. All cars consume more gas now as their weight goes up thanks to increased gravity. You also get a bit heavier. Your legs have to withstand a huge load. Your sneakers are torn because of the increasing pressure. Rocks and hills fall to the ground. Avalanches descend in snow-covered places. Changing the size of tectonic plates awakens volcanoes. They spit millions of tons of ash into the sky, but it quickly settles on the ground. The sand in the hourglass is flowing faster, same as the water out of a bottle. Throw a basketball in the air, and it will return to the ground faster. But you won't be able to play basketball, since the ball doesn't bounce off the floor. Now it's as heavy as a bowling ball. The sea level is rising higher and higher. The upper layers of the oceans flood many coastal cities. The water pressure on the seafloor increases several times. 
No living creature can survive under such conditions, so all the huge squids and other monsters swim out of the depths to the surface. At night, you look at the starry sky and notice the moon has become a little smaller. It's moving away from the planet, but not for long. Astronauts on the ISS panic. It seems to them the station has moved away from the planet. However, they are still in Earth's orbit. The planet is decreasing in size, but doesn't lose its mass. The Earth's gravitational forces remain unchanged for the ISS. But now, the station is flying much faster around the planet. Water floods almost all the continents. The clouds used to be high in the sky, but now they descend lower and cover the planet's surface with a thick fog. Raindrops fall faster and hit the ground stronger. The temperature is falling all over the world. The planet is moving away from the sun and slowly freezes. But then, everything changes. The water goes back. Now the gravitational force of the planet is so strong that it returns the oceans to their places. The water pressure is increasing. It'll be much more difficult for you to swim, even near the shore. The density of Earth reaches colossal dimensions. Now if you stumble and fall, you won't be able to get up. Only small animals and insects can move as fast as before. The lighter an object is, the less gravity affects it. A year passes. The Earth has shrunk inward by 470 miles. The air, gases, the atmosphere, everything becomes so dense and heavy that it's difficult for you to breathe. You won't survive for long in such conditions. The shrinking planet is moving us away from the sun. The sky becomes gray as the light coming from the sun has decreased. The nights are getting too dark. The moon no longer lights up the night sky. A ballpoint pen lying on the table seems heavier than a barbell. The table can't handle it and breaks under such weight. Eight years have passed. The planet is reduced by almost a half. However, its weight remains the same. All the seas and oceans have frozen because of the decreasing temperature and increasing pressure. The shrinking planet exerts enormous pressure on the natural minerals hidden inside the crust. This creates ideal conditions for the appearance of diamonds. They used to be at a depth of 60 miles. Now, they get out to the surface. Ten years have passed. The Earth's diameter has decreased by 4,700 miles. Our planet is smaller than the moon but almost 80 times heavier. All the space satellites flying over the planet have fallen to the icy Earth. The Earth is becoming one of the heaviest space objects in the universe. The force of its gravity attracts the moon. It collapses into millions of pieces and flies around our planet in the form of a stone belt. 17 years have passed. Our planet can fit on the tip of a hair, but it hasn't lost its mass. The colossal density on such a small area turns our Earth into a black hole. It's getting heavier and more massive. All the planets of the solar system are collapsing as the gravitational black giant is growing. The sunlight goes there and never comes back. The black hole absorbs not only matter, but also time. It becomes thousands of times heavier than the sun. Our star splits into millions of thin strips of light and releases the most powerful streams of energy. The black hole absorbs it. Ah, traffic. You're stuck on a bridge waiting for the line to move, but you've been in your car for more than two hours. You're gonna be late to pick up your friend from the airport. Suddenly, the bridge starts shaking. Everyone gets out of their cars and runs to the other end of the bridge. But there are so many people panicking that they start pushing and shoving each other. The bolts on the bridge begin to snap one by one, making the bridge shake even more. Almost everyone is already crossed to the other side. But the first half of the bridge falls down, causing all the abandoned cars to slide to the ocean. You start climbing on them, trying to get to safe ground. Almost there, you jump over some cars and make it to safety. You make it just in time, because the whole bridge has collapsed into the ocean. Everyone is confused. You start to feel the ground inflating. Someone screams, and everyone starts to disperse like tiny ants. You run into the city center and see some buildings start to shake. The sidewalks are cracking. The fire hydrants burst open. 
All the glass in every building shatters. Everyone is running away from the buildings. Many cars are crashing into each other, blocking many paths for people. You see people get evacuated, so you follow them into the countryside, which has no buildings around. There are thousands of people standing side by side, scared and confused. Someone stands on a podium and announces that the Earth is expanding by one inch per second. Everyone is advised to go with escorted safety cars into the city to pack up their belongings and head to a new shelter. They have to be quick or else the entire city will collapse. You enter one of these safety cars and they take you back home. You can see the ground getting bigger and bigger. You reach downtown where all the skyscrapers are. They're all swaying and might collapse any second. Suddenly, they all topple over each other just like dominoes. You were lucky enough to grab some of your things, but the buildings have trapped you inside. A helicopter comes out of nowhere to rescue you and everyone else. From an eagle eye view, you can see the whole city crashing down. Every road is unrecognizable. Bridges and tunnels have completely collapsed. The helicopter takes you to the shelter, where you'll be spending the rest of your life. A group of scientists explain to you that the Earth's surface will increase by 40 miles in a month and by 500 miles in a year. That's even further than a trip from New York to Toronto. You're shocked by what you hear as the planet continues to expand. You were supposed to pick up your friend from the airport, but all the roads are destroyed now. Suddenly, you get a call from him. He landed just as the ground started expanding, and now he's stuck at the airport. You sneak off from the base, find a bike in the middle of the road, and head there. It'll take you a couple of hours to get there, since the helicopter took you to the opposite end of town. You ride along the bumpy road that has changed completely. The flat open road is now full of many hills and trenches. The farmlands are inside out, and most mills are destroyed. You finally reach a mountain pass that looks very unstable. You have no choice but to go through it. It used to be a public hiking trail, but now it looks like a landfill. You get there slowly, looking out for any signs of danger. Many trees have been uprooted and are leaning on each other. Suddenly, a huge tree tumbles down and blocks the road in front of you. You speed up and decide to use the tree as a ramp. You fly across the obstacle, making it to the other side. But as you land, you notice a massive landslide. You speed away on the bumpy road. The whole mountain starts to shake and finally collapses. You're riding through everything, dodging every tree, rock, and bush until you make it out. You turn around and see the whole mountain collapse behind you. There's no going back. You continue through the open road until you see a broken sign to the airport. It's not far away, and when you finally get there, you try calling your friend. The phone no longer works. The reception is awful, but suddenly you realize all the cell towers are probably destroyed by now. The sun begins to set. You almost give up, but you spot him in the distance. You pick your friend up and head back to safety. As you ride back, the airport runway starts to collapse. It's located right next to the ocean. So with the infrastructure collapsing, ocean water begins to find its way to land. You're at maximum speed, trying to get away with a tidal wave gaining on you. With the whole mountain collapsed, you can't go back the same way. Water begins to touch your legs. The bike can barely make it out, but you find a little passage and escape. You detour and take the longer route through the city to get back to the shelter. But the city looks even stranger than when you were there in the morning. Many rats and animals are roaming the streets. Lamp posts and telephone poles are blocking the roads. Glass windows you saw a couple of hours ago are now all over the floor. It's too dark to see ahead, so you and your friend make camp in what used to be a convenience store. You make sure there's no roof above. Otherwise, it might cave in while you're sleeping. Many dangerous animals are lurking outside. You finally fall into a deep sleep. The next day, you ride along and the ground level gets even higher. In 24 hours, the ground rose by around a mile and a half. You see a bunch of people walking, trying to find shelter. 
you tell them about the rescue team and explain to them how to get there. After a couple of hours, you finally arrive, but the place is deserted. There are no more improvised tents and buildings. All the people disappeared. You try to investigate and find out what happened, but you've got no clues. As you continue walking, you start to feel heavier than usual. Since the Earth is getting bigger and bigger, gravity is getting stronger as well. You get tired more quickly than expected, and an uphill walk seems impossible. You get back on your bike and continue driving in search of answers. In the distance, you spot a dome structure in the middle of a field. You enter and notice that everyone evacuated here. You settle in. Inside the dome, there's a construction of a giant vehicle the size of three malls. It'll be the new mobile city. One year later, the Earth's surface grew by 500 miles. Some mountains grew larger, but some are embedded in the land. Forests and jungles lost around 90% of their trees. Oceans and seas created a new map formation since so much water was trapped underneath the land. All of this made oxygen levels drop. The gravitational force became even stronger, making it much more difficult to walk without catching a breath. Climbing hills is definitely not easy. Many tsunamis, volcanoes, and earthquakes destroyed lands and cities. And they're now happening more frequently than before. The heat from the Earth's core is getting stronger. The entire world economy collapsed as soon as the Earth started to get bigger. Digging for oil is now impossible, so you can't use any vehicle that's gas-powered. The vehicles of today have specialized wheels for rough terrain and are powered by the sun. Everyone lives in those giant domes with huge wheels to constantly change location whenever it gets risky. Congratulations! You're now one of the dome drivers, and you're heading to the East Coast. The place is packed with around 5,000 people living and working inside. Everyone has specific responsibilities so that the area there can be well maintained. But wait, traffic? Another mobile dome city is in front of you, and it's barely moving. As long as everyone's in the dome, they're safe. For now. You're relaxing in your room and streaming some good tunes when suddenly the network's down. You try rebooting your phone, but there's still no connection. Out of nowhere, your sister barges into your room in panic. She's screaming something about rings. Boxing rings? Wedding rings? Rings on the tub? She's not making any sense. So she drags you out of the house and shows you the sky. You take a look up and see streaks of objects forming miles above the Earth's surface. Her connection seems to work. The two of you check online what's going on, and everywhere the same thing is making headlines. Rings are suddenly appearing in our sky. Hashtag Earth Rings is breaking the record, and videos are going super viral. Your sister can't help but join the crowd and takes a bunch of selfies with the sky. You run to the TV in your living room to check out the news. Scientists are warning about a coming catastrophe and explaining that everyone should remain indoors. Even though it's a cloudless day in the middle of summer, the weather seems to be getting colder and colder. Suddenly, the signal's cut off. Other channels show nothing either. Then you see your neighbors packing their bags and heading out. Others follow suit. You hesitate a bit, but decide to do the same in the end. Your sister is still outside taking selfies when you urge her to come along with you to seek some answers. The two of you hop in your car and drive out into the city. The rings above seem to be gaining more mass with each second. You and your sister are getting colder and colder. You head to the university to see if anyone knows anything, but there's no one there. Only one parked car in the lot. And it's a good thing you recognize that car. You and your sister rush in and find the astronomy professor doing some quick calculations and trying to figure out why all this is happening. He urges you to take seats and begins explaining. No one knows what this is all about, but it's limiting the sun's exposure on Earth, which explains why it's getting colder by the minute. Why the rings are getting thicker is a mystery, too. On Saturn, the rings are made up of ice and rock particles. They can be as small as an ant or the size of a bus. The rocks could be left over meteor debris or even remnants of dwarf planets. But since Earth is so close to the Sun, ice wouldn't be something you'd find floating above us. With all these rocks piled up, they block the Earth's access to Sun to warm us up and give us light. The professor goes on to explain that Earth will enter a new ice age, 
and oxygen levels will deplete within a year's time unless those newborn rings disappear anytime soon. This also explains why there's no connection. The rocks that form the rings are hitting and breaking the satellites. Suddenly, you hear a loud ringing noise outside. The three of you head outside and see a helicopter blasting an alarm with a red light flashing. Everyone to your homes now! This is not a drill! Everyone, head home! You get in your car with your sister, but the roads are jammed. You have to go on foot, which will take two hours. There's no way anyone can remain outdoors. You venture out seeing everyone stuck on the road. They're all arguing with each other and causing chaos. You try not to get caught in the middle of anything and sneak your way to the highway. With the rings getting thicker, less sunlight is breaking through. This Ice Age info is stuck in your head, chilling you even more. You take a deep breath and see a thin mist coming out of your mouth. The sky is getting darker and you're still not home yet. Your sister is tired and needs to rest, but you urge her to move on. You find an abandoned clothes shop and head inside. The store clerks are actually giving away thick jackets for everyone to wear. You grab a couple and slip them on. Only one more hour to get home, but the sky is completely dark. There's no way you and your sister can go out in such conditions. So you decide to camp up in the clothes shop. They set up a mini bonfire in the middle of the shop and create makeshift sleeping bags with the rest of the unused clothes. Luckily, there's enough food to feed everyone, including you and your sister. It's the middle of the night. The fire goes out, and you can't see outside the shop. You head to the window and open it up. A huge pile of snow spills in and wakes everyone up. It's the middle of August, and a snowstorm formed overnight. Everyone is freezing, and they start the fire anew. There's no radio or any way to find out what's happening. The wind picks up and starts shaking the shop. Things start falling off the shelves, but you and everyone else are cozy by the fire. The next day, you look outside and see the entire area covered in snow. You live in a sunny place where it barely rains, and the rings in the outer atmosphere are even bigger than last night. Out of nowhere, a truck filled with people pulls over, and the driver tells you there's a shelter for everyone some miles away. The truck has chains all over the tires and is equipped for the worst snowy conditions. Even though it's morning, the sky is pretty dark. You and everyone else hop in. Abandoned cars, some with their doors still open, are scattered all over. The truck drives around them or just smashes through the ones in the way. It pulls over next to an ambulance and takes all the equipment to help the ones in need. You drive past your neighborhood and see your entire house covered in snow. The large tree in your backyard has fallen under the weight of the snow and broken the roof, allowing snow to flood in. The truck speeds through and gets to the shelter, which, to your surprise, is the mall. You get out and see many of the townspeople being led to various stores that have now turned into dorms and health units. You're left in a sports store with a bunch of other people. Your sister has also been able to bunk with you. And to your luck, you see the professor helping out some people. But shortly after that, a loud explosion blasts through the mall and shatters glass screens. Everyone ducks for cover. You see people running outside. You head out and see a large metallic object lying in front of the mall entrance. There are people crowding the entire area, so it's not easy to see what all the fuss is about. But after getting a closer look, you find out it's a satellite fallen from orbit. It crashed in the front yard and made the boom. There were also reports of other satellites crashing on Earth in the most random places. That means all communication has been wiped out of the map. You run back inside the mall to await what happens next. You look at your sister in fear, not knowing that the new Ice Age has just begun. One year later, you're relaxing in your bunker when your sister barges in, freaking out. The rings are still there, but it's something else now. You run outside and see everyone gathering around and looking at the sky. Within a year, temperatures have dropped to freeze the entirety of the Earth's surface. Deserts and tropical jungles have turned into icy wastelands. More than half of the wildlife went extinct, and trees are as rare as a four-leaf clover, which means oxygen levels have dropped significantly. Most of the population, or what's remaining of it, live with oxygen tanks, with scientists still trying to crack the case of the rings. 
exactly what the professor predicted. But up in the sky, rocks seem to be falling down and crashing all over. It starts off far away, but then the rocks begin to fall down close by. You and everyone else run back into the mall, which has been covered with a layer of metal to keep the warmth inside. It should be pretty safe in there. If the rocks are falling down, that means the rings are dissipating. Suddenly, you're full of hope that the Ice Age might be over soon.